What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So I'm checking out our new hang glider that, that I ended up making off camera here. I told you guys I was going to make one of these things. And this makes getting around so easy, guys. Like in no time at all, we flew over from our base to this village. And yeah, I mean, this just opens up all sorts of possibilities for traveling around and getting from point A to point B. Like that village before seemed kind of far and now it's like three, four seconds away. It is nothing to get over there, which is really awesome. Uh, so yeah, I have really been enjoying the fact that we have our new jetpack that took forever to make. Hopefully we never lose it. <laughs> is there a soul bound enchantment in this mod pack? Hopefully there is. Uh, if there is, we're going to have to look at getting that. So if we do die, we don't lose anything that's in our inventory that has soul bound. Uh, so I have kind of open this area up just a little bit kind of cleaned it up really this was mostly a cave before and it's kind of hard to navigate when i wanted to come into our little base area so yeah i kind of removed some of the blocks that were in the way there was like a gravel pile over here and there's some copper ore got rid of all this stuff trying to figure out what we want to do up here uh, i think what i want to do is block up this and have like a proper door or like an obsidian pressure plate door or something where we can walk in but monsters cannot uh, another thing that I've done as far as preventing monsters from appearing around here is I've gone around, I pressed F7 so we can see the little X's, and then I spam torches basically everywhere uh, in a good area around the base here. Uh, let's put on hover moon. Yeah, there we go. So, like, up here I have torches, like, pretty much in all these trees. I've spammed torches around a good portion of our starting little peninsula area over here. I didn't go too crazy. Like, I didn't, you know, put them all the way throughout the forest or whatever. But basically, so nothing will spawn in this general area. And hopefully that'll prevent anything from spawning over here and walking over here. That is the idea. All right. Hover mode needs to go away. That sound. <laughs> if it kept me level, if it didn't make me sink as fast as it did, I think I'd be okay with the hover mode. But it really is kind of pointless uh, right now. So, I've been doing some things off camera here. And one of those things is I've kind of set up our Coke oven to be automatic, kind of. Uh, <laughs> I put a hopper on top here, which is feeding coal into it. And we have a chest on top of that, which has gone through a couple stacks, it looks like, which is just feeding into the hopper, which goes into here. And then once this is done, where does the coal Coke go? Well, I have item ducts underneath, which pulls out from the bottom and sends it over here to our blast furnace. So we're automatically making steel as long as I keep this full of the iron blocks. But yeah, every once in a while, that thing will kick on once this thing is done producing a piece of coal coke. And then I've also set up a dense item duct down here. It doesn't, it doesn't show it for some reason. But anyway, that's a dense item duct. So the pipe goes from below here and over there and also connects to this chest, but it's a dense pipe. So if... <laughs> This gets full, if there's a full stack in here, it can't go over that way, so it won't go to this chest as the overflow. So yeah, that's kind of the way this is set up. Now the other thing is, uh, looks like we are filling up full of creosote. Yeah, the blast furnace just kicked on over there, you can see that. Uh, we're filling up full of creosote in here. I did make another drum so we can store more. Let's go ahead and stick this thing over here. Yeah, this already had a little bit of creosote in there. I was down in our copper mine. I saw that on the mini map, there was a mine shaft over here and I kind of broke out into it. Let's actually get off the mini map here. I saw it was like basically through the wall. So I mined through the wall and I found it right through here. But as I was exploring, like one block below the surface right here goes right into it. I'm surprised I didn't see it with all the mining that I've been doing, but there, guess there was just no ores right here that I dug down. Otherwise I would have just mined into it. Uh, but yeah, I saw it on the mini map. I did a little bit of explore, exploring through there. I saw there was some copper over here that I missed. <laughs> yeah, I did some exploring over there and I found some chests, some minecart chests. Oh man. All right. I'm not going to mine at all. <laughs> yeah, I saw that there were the, uh, the minecart chests in there with some creosote oil. Anyway, uh, I've taken all that stuff back and yeah, that other drum I had filled up with those creosote oil bottles. We just don't need those in the bottle form. But yeah, so I've done that. Did a little exploring over there. What else did I do? Uh, found a bunch of tracks. We got some chest carts, some TNT carts, a mine cart. 
Uh, there was some other stuff. We have a work cart. I don't really know what any of this stuff does or if it's good or not, but we have it. <laughs> so there's that. Um, oh yeah. Also, I got this magical chalk. I can't remember when I got this. It was a couple episodes ago. Hmm. I think it might've been in a villager house, like a blacksmith house or something. But anyway, we can use this to get to a runic dungeon a little bit later on. I don't think I've ever made a runic dungeon portal, but I've been to the runic dungeons previously in infinity. But anyway, uh, enough about that. Let me put down this creosote oil drum somewhere. Where am I going to stick this? I don't know. Let me just stick it right behind over here out of sight, out of mind. All right. So we have that set down. Uh, what I want to work on today is making some better food. <laughs> uh, we've been making toast and we can take the toast and turn that into like a toast sandwich if we want to, which is essentially the same food as just like eating two pieces of toast at once. Kind of, I guess. Anyway, uh, there's way better foods that we can make. Like for instance, if we look up toast and we go to the, uh, the uses on this, we can see that it's used to make like beet burger <laughs> McPam. <laughs> okay. Uh, zucchini bake, more McPams. Anyway, uh, burgers are what I want to make because those are what you make because <laughs> they are the best. And we can use raw beef or we can use firm tofu with a skillet to make a burger. So I think the first thing we need to do is make ourselves a skillet. So let us grab a couple of pieces of iron. My stuff sorted. I don't see iron in here. I just got done making a whole bunch of iron plates. So I might've taken all my loose iron, iron plates and like the iron, um, chip sets. So yeah, that I had sticks. I guess I don't, man. I don't have anything that I'm looking for. All right. So there's a, well, we got two sticks. We only need one. So there's a stick. There is that. So we have a skillet. We have the toast. Uh, we also do have some raw beef so we can go ahead and make some burgers right away. Just like so. But I think what I want to do is hold on to this raw beef and I want to make tofu. So let's put that back. Yeah, we did get a soybean seed somewhere in here. Where is it? Soybean seed. Yeah, we have one of these and this is awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and grow this. I want to get a couple of these so we can start doing some breeding. We'll look at a little bit of the agricraft breeding for that. Okay, so... I want a watering can. I want uh, my Maddock. Yep. So we can till the land. And I think I also have some crop sticks in here. Okay. So I think we got everything we need. So we'll till that. We'll put down the crop stick and soybean. There we go. Cool. Uh, let's just water can this. We will grow this thing. Oh, I turned them off particles. Whoops. Video settings, particles. Done. Back to game. Yeah, I turned off particles because I was just flying around and all of a sudden the game lagged out and it was down to like, I don't know, one or two FPS. It was like really, really laggy. I was afraid I was going to die because I was flying around with my jetpack and I did like the uh, the shift F3 thing. So you can see the pie chart and it was like, anyway, I dug through the menu there and it said that particles were causing all of the frame rate issues. But I turned off particles and I didn't change anything, so I relogged and that fixed it. So here we go. We have soybeans unidentified because we put them in the crop sticks, and then we have the new soybean seeds. So now we got two of these things, so now we can do a little bit of breeding. Cool. Uh, let us grab another two dirt. I guess we'll grab three because I scrolled out an extra one. So we can do that, and we will grab crop sticks. That goes there. Uh, you know what? Let's identify these. These are just going to be one, one, ones, which is fine. And this one, yeah, growth one, gain one, strength one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a little bit of breeding here. So we'll put that there. Let us do this one, that. We'll put that there. Cool. Then we can water can these until they are fully matured. This goes a lot faster <laughs> once you get this going. Uh, once you get that growth speed up. These things will start growing really, really fast, especially with this watering can. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and do that, crossbreed them, and we will just water the center one until we get a seed like so. Okay, so we take the seed, we stick it in here, and this will probably be better than a 111. It is. It's a 122. Awesome. So we can get rid of this one, put this guy back, put our new seed here, and goodbye, worthless seed. We don't need you anymore. 
Yep, and then we can just water can this, let this one grow to maturity and continue breeding like that. And we will eventually get way better soybeans. So the goal is to keep doing this until we get the 10, 10, 10s. And once we get that, uh, we just need to reproduce many 10, 10, 10s. And then we can have a full crop field full of fast producing soybeans, which is going to be awesome. Let's get rid of this junk one. Uh, put you down, you down. Goodbye. So, yep, this is what I'm going to be doing. I've actually already done this a little bit, uh, not with soybeans, but with wheat. Let's come down here real quick. So I have a full wheat field down here. This is the, uh, it's nine by nine. That's how far a source block of water in the center hydrates farmland, uh, four blocks away in every direction. So yeah, we have nine by nine here. And then all of these, you can see on the tool tip there, it says um, growth 10, gain 10, strength 10. So yeah, each one of these, when I harvest, let's right click, that'll produce four pieces of wheat, which is awesome. So yeah, we have a lot of those here. And then, yeah, you just right click them. You don't have to uh, replant and you can use your water can if you want to. And these things just grow like stupidly fast, which is awesome. And all grown, <laughs> very cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and work on those soybeans. I'm gonna try and get them to the 10, 10, 10 stage and we'll be right back guys. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I mutated a 10, 10, 10 here and we have a 9, 10, 10 over here that I was using to crossbreed between the two. Anyway, we have another 10, 10, 10, so we got two of these now, which is awesome. So yeah, we got stackable, uh, best of the best soybean seeds, which is great. Okay, so the next step is we need a bunch of crop sticks and we have 45, that's not gonna be enough. We're gonna need more than that. Let's just grab a stack of wood or whatever. How much did we get, 19? All right, we'll make 19 logs worth of sticks and we will make crop sticks out of those. It's actually not a whole lot more, but it's better. Okay, so now that we only have two seeds, we need to come down here. I did set up another crop area for this. Uh, we can go ahead and take these guys. Let's get some crop sticks. Let's grab our soybeans. Uh, so we can set one here and one here. That should be fine. And we'll just go and water can these. These things grow pretty quickly now that they are the growth of 10. Um, it seems like they skip maybe a stage or something like that. But yeah, now that they are fully mature, which is awesome. So now we can just go ahead and do this. Like we're crossbreeding, but we're not really crossbreeding. We're just trying to get more soybeans. That one right there is going to be a 10, 10, 10. We'll go ahead and break that one for now. I'm going to want to run it through the machine just so it will say 10, 10, 10 when I look at it and it won't say unidentified or whatever. But yeah, this is the next step is just continue doing this, uh, getting more seeds. I'm going to try and get, I don't know, however many we need, like 40 or something like that here. And then uh, fill out this entire craft field and then we should be pretty well good to go here. All right, guys, so we got the full crop field full of these 10, 10, 10 soybean seeds. This is taking a minute to do. It's really not that bad. Uh, but yeah, it's like one of those things you just do and then you're good to go for the rest of your playthrough. So might as well get it done early. So yeah, we have the soybeans done and we have the regular wheat done, which is pretty awesome. So in order to make the firm tofu, we need a presser. So let's look at this. So a presser requires, oh, okay. So this requires some different stuff here. Uh, so we need celery, cabbage, oats, and asparagus. I think we have a few of those, if not all of those. Let's go take a look at the seeds that we have. I wasn't actually expecting this recipe to be changed like that. Okay, so we need, let's do this. Do that ASP, um, celery. What's the other one? Cabbage. And then finally, oats. Okay. So if we double click this, yeah, these are all highlighted. All right, so in here we have cabbage, asparagus, asparagus, asparagus. Okay, so we got two, uh, raspberry. That's, why did raspberry, oh, ASP, okay. Yeah, that's the wrong one. So we're looking for asparagus. We got cabbage, asparagus, and raspberry. Oh man, okay, so we don't have the oats. And what was the other one? Celery, all right. So we need to figure out how to make those oats and celery. Oats and celery. All right. I could have sworn that we have collected celery before, but I guess not. So in order to get that, we need regular wheat seeds and allium, alum, alum seeds, <laughs> whatever those are. Uh, do we have those? They are the purple ones. 
Uh, oh, you know, we do have one of those. Okay, so that would be easy enough to crossbreed for that. And what about oats? Oats is rice and corn. So we did breed for corn previously. Uh, corn and rice is what we're looking for. So do we have those in our chest here? So we do have rice and I had corn. Or did I not make an extra seed? Oh no. Yeah, we had to make corn, I think, for the watering can, right? The watering can require corn. So barley and rye. Well, we should have barley and rye. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get everything together for this. Yeah, I could have sworn we had extra corn seeds, but I guess I just made one and I just put it into the watering can. That's too bad. Okay, yeah, let me go ahead and get the seeds that we need for our presser and we'll be right back, guys. All right, well, I did a bunch of crossbreeding here and I got the seeds that we needed and I grew them up. Uh, actually, I guess we don't have everything we need just yet. So there's some oats and I think celery. Yeah, there's some more celery. So if I remember correctly, we need multiple pressers to do what I want to do. Uh, so we're going to make three of these. Oh, you know what? I need some more iron ingots. I forgot to do that. So we'll just go ahead and craft some more of that stuff. We can throw those in here. Okay, perfect. So there we go. There is three pressers. And we get an extra celery seed left over. Man, I got so much stuff in my inventory now. Uh, so what we want to do is we're going to set up some kind of an automatic thing down here. Uh, probably in the back, maybe behind where the celery is. I'm not, or I'm sorry, not celery. I got celery on the brain. Behind where the soybeans is, or somewhere over here anyway. So pretty much what we're going to do is have them kind of like that. We have soybeans on us, right? Yeah, 63. Okay, so when you put a soybean in the presser, it automatically does its thing. It takes a minute to do it, but it does its thing automatically. And that'll turn the soybean into soy milk. And then the soy milk will go back in here. It would be transferred from this one over to this one is what we'd end up doing. And then the soy milk turns into silken tofu. And we get silken tofu out of this one. And then we would put the silken tofu over here. And then that will turn it into the firm tofu. And this is what we're looking for. And there we go. Firm tofu. So this can be used in place of meat in pretty much every recipe. Uh, yeah, it turns directly into a fish. Should we choose to do that? Or we can take it make a fried egg, or we can make a burger, which is awesome. Then I believe we can also add another, if we were to take another soybean and have it go through this entire process again, I believe we can add that to this hamburger and turn it into a bacon burger, or maybe we actually have to add cheese to it first. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've done these. Yeah, we might have to add cheese, and then we can add the tofu to make that into a bacon cheeseburger. And then from there, we could go a little crazy and add some mushrooms to it. and Or there's a bunch of different things. We can add onions to the hamburger, I guess. A coleslaw burger? That doesn't sound very good. Anyway, uh, we don't need to go crazy with the food. It's not like we have um, whatever that mod is, hunger overhaul or something like that that makes your hunger go down pretty fast when you have to use like the crazy top-end foods. Uh, but I do want something better than just toast, something that gives us more hunger bars. And the burgers are definitely that. Uh, there's other things in here like uh, Supreme pizzas. These fill up, I think, like almost your entire hunger bar. But it takes a little bit. It's kind of involved to make these. If we were going to do this, I would want something like Applied Energistics hooked up so we could just automatically craft these on the fly. Uh, but something like this where we'd put a bunch of soybeans in a chest. They'll process and out on the other side, we'll get a bunch of the firm tofu. That just kind of makes sense. Uh, since it's a fairly straightforward process for this. Uh, so let me go ahead and get some pipes going here. We just need to output from this one, put into this one, output, and then put into this one, and have an output chest over here. So let me do that real quick, and we'll be back, guys. All right, so this is what we got set up here. We got an input chest in the front that all we got to do is put some soybeans into. And soybeans go in here, and we get the firm tofu out the back. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, we just have a transfer node underneath that's pulling out of here and sticking to the top of this presser. Then we got a transfer node on the bottom that's pulling out the soy milk, and that's going into this presser. And then the uh, soft tofu goes over here and gets pressed, or I guess the silken tofu gets pressed into the firm tofu. So yeah, pretty simple setup. I wonder, I, I wonder if we can make this even smaller if we had, do we have um, routers? No, I don't think we have Routers Reborn mod in this mod pack. 
Uh, if we had factorization routers in here or routers reborn, whatever that mod is, we could probably have all these things a lot closer. We wouldn't have to have pipes everywhere. And it might be a little bit more clean. There's probably a cleaner way to do this. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, this is the way we have it set up. It's a pretty quick and simple way to get ourselves the uh, firm tofu and we can make ourselves way better food now. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Just the way it is. Uh, so the next thing that we'd probably want to do is set up some kind of automatic harvester down here to automatically harvest the soybeans and our wheat and put them into like a barrel or eventually like a deep storage unit or something like that. Uh, so probably a harvester. We were kind of looking at these before for a tree farm and we never made it to that point because we had to make these machine frames. But now that we got all the stuff set up for this, yeah, maybe we should go ahead and make a few harvesters here. Or maybe just put one with like a large upgrade to handle both of these farms. That might be kind of cool. And then we can also set up one for tree farming and automatically collect some of the jungle wood. So that's probably going to be the next thing that we should work on. Uh, so let's see. We're going to need some of this crushed obsidian. Yeah, we still got a bunch left over here. Let's do like three of these things at a time now. We'll do that. We need some of these iron chipsets. You know, we I've actually crafted up a bunch of these. I think I said that earlier. Uh, I crafted up a bunch of these different ship sets over here just so I don't have to wait on them crafting. All right, so we'll put that, that, that. Then we need, I think it's 10 gears and something else. <laughs> what else goes in there? 10 gear. Ah, okay, so we need a bunch of steel. How's this thing going over here, I wonder? Oh, we got nine blocks of steel. That's cool. I already have a few more meet up over here. We have, where's our steel supply? 14 more, and I think we have some loose ingots somewhere in here. Anyway, um, yeah, we got steel right there. So it's, we have to split these into nines, I think, right? Okay, so we just need one more block and we can make ourselves those refined steel plates. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. I'm gonna make those machine frames up and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so I'm just over here lasering up some of these machine frames. And I was taking a look at the harvester recipe again. Let's take a look at this. So the harvester recipe does require some of these gold gears, the uh, gold reception coil, machine frame, invar things, plastic sheets, shears, nothing too complicated, right? Well, plastic sheets, uh, the recipe has been changed just slightly. So we need compressed sawdust. And in order to get that, we need eight sawdust in a ring, like you're making a chest or whatever. And they'll give us one of those. Uh, how we get sawdust is by putting logs on a pulverizer or by using a sawmill. We'll probably just pulverize some logs since we don't really need the planks at the moment. And I don't really want to make the sawmill machine. Uh, so that is how we get that. But the center thing, rocket fuel, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so rocket fuel, how do we get rocket fuel? So it looks like we have to make a vat and we put gunpowder and redstone and that'll give us, I don't know how much that is. It doesn't say. Uh, wait a second. Am I looking at the right thing? Oh, we need hooch plus gunpowder plus redstone. Well, how do you get, what is hooch? I don't even know. We need apple plus sugar with water in a vat. Okay, so we got a few different recipes. We can make rocket fuel, fire water, uh, nutrient distillation. Actually, I think that might be something we'll be looking at pretty soon, if I remember correctly. And then hooch. So vat, I don't know if I've ever made a vat. I don't even know what mod that's from. Uh, the vat from Ender IO, is that the one we need? Creative Keystone, I do not think that is what we're looking for. Um, I think there was a vat that I made before. What was that mod? Oh my goodness, it was the, uh, the one with all the fish. <laughs> uh, I can't think of the name of that one. Anyway, I'm... I'm I'm guessing it's this that we have to make. So fluid tank, we need quite clear glass or I guess just any glass with some iron bars and some iron. That's not too bad. Uh, ooh, okay. Now we're getting into things. <laughs> lumium nugget. Or I guess we need a lumium ingot, which comes from lumium blend, which is energized glowstone, pulverized tin, silver. Okay. Energized glowstone. So that sounds like the next thing we need to do is to go into the nether and collect some glowstone so we can make that stuff. Oh man, I guess actually before we do that, let's just take a look 
Electrical steel is something else that we are going to need. So we need an alloy smelter with iron, coal, and silicon. Okay, so we need to make an alloy smelter as well. Is that this one? There we go. So the alloy smelter, basic capacitor, signalum. Okay, so we've already made this stuff before. We had to make a couple of those last time. Oh man, we have to make an induction furnace, an electric furnace, two electric furnaces, some crushed obsidian, and a machine chassis. Okay, well, I guess the first thing we need to do is go back to the nether and collect a little bit of glowstone. All right, guys, so I was just checking the time on the episode, and I think we're getting a little bit longer and really not going to be able to work on much more today. Oh, man. Gas, get out of here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Thankfully, we got a lot of glowstone just right here next to where we spawn into the nether, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and mine up a bunch of these. Another thing we really should be working on is a magnet for situations like this where pieces go everywhere and they're over lava. Those are just going to be destroyed that are going down there. That's too bad. If we had a magnet, we could suck them all into our inventory, and that'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah, we don't have one yet. Don't catch me on fire. Don't catch me on fire. I think it's maybe only those ones that the smoldering grass blocks or whatever that will catch you on fire. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to collect a little bit of glowstone here. Next episode, we'll look at making the vat and <laughs> that sort of stuff. We'll continue on uh, getting... The stuff that we need to make our harvester, I'm trying to stay away from that gas so it doesn't shoot at me. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we need a bit more glowstone than this. We got just about a stack and a half. I'm going to need to farm a bit of this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.